Hey everybody, finally got enough questions for Q&A video 5. Actually, it wasn't final, it was pretty quick, actually. And I've got questions for Q&A 6 already. So, uh, make sure to keep asking questions, and uh, it doesn't really matter what they're about. You can ask anything you want. Um, just, it depends on what it is that I might answer it or not. But anyway. Um, the first six of these questions are from 3Try. And so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you were stuck on a desert island, what game would you have? And uh, note that I apparently have access to internet and online play. Um... I'd say Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. It's just an amazing game. End of story. Um, and what's the most overrated game you've ever played? That would be... There's a lot of those, actually. I mean, I could mention Halo, the entire series, because th those games are... The first one's not bad, but the rest of them are just, just continually get worse and worse, and I haven't played Reach yet, or ODST. But they, they got worse and worse from between 2 and 3, and... So many people love them, and I don't understand why. Um, and of course, there's Diablo and StarCraft. I hate Diablo, and I hate StarCraft. Um, beyond words, really. I mean, you can't really fathom my hatred for StarCraft, um, especially. And Diablo is just horrendously boring. I don't necessarily hate it because it's a just pure evil or anything. I just hate it because it's boring, and it's, it's a complete waste of time, and I don't understand why people like it so much. Note that's Diablo 1, not Diablo 2. But Diablo 1 is a horrible, horrible game. It's horrendously boring. Um, and then, of course, there's Empire Earth, which was uh, praised as this amazing real-time strategy game. And then I get to play it, and I'm like, wow, this is painfully slow. And um, there's a few other games like that. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, obviously. Really big letdown. Yet so many people love it. I don't know why. Um, Battlefield Bad Company 2, also another letdown, but so many people love it, and I have no idea why. Um, let me move on to the next question, which is the most underrated game I've ever played. That would probably be Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. It got horrible, horrible reviews. Um, and then you go to play it, and it's actually a really fun game. And I really don't understand why it got such horrible reviews, because it, it's actually a really fun game. I mean, yes, it's a little buggy, and yes, the voice acting's horrible, but the gameplay is what really counts in this one. And it seems like people have forgotten that over the years and just want mindless Halo and Call of Duty clones all, just non-stop. I, I don't get it. Um, next question. If you were part of a development team, who would it be? Uh, I'd say Valve or Epic Games. They're, they're behind um, stuff like Unreal and Gears of War and stuff like that. Um, if it was still around, I'd say 3D Realms, but uh, it's not around anymore. Um, id Software, they're the guys behind Doom and Quake and Wolfenstein. Naturally, those are some of my favorites. Um, let's see, anybody else? Uh, Bioware, obviously. I mean, I just love Bioware games, so um, might as well, huh? <laughs> and then, next question. Um, what's the best handheld console ever? I don't know. You tell me. Because um, I really haven't played that much handheld gaming. Um, I've got a Nintendo DS and a Game Boy Advance, like the original version of the Game Boy Advance. But I, I really don't play all that many handheld games. Um, I used to play my Game Boy quite a lot, but I didn't really have all that many games for it. And um, I have even fewer games for my DS, actually. Well, actually, I might have the same. I don't know. I'd, to, I'd have to check. But... Um, I've played the Game Boy Color. I didn't own one, but I have I have played one, and I had fun with that. And um, then I played the PSP and despised it because it felt horrible in my hands and everything. Um, it, it, I don't know what it is with PlayStation controls, but they just seem like they have to be unwieldy and weird. And that that analog stick on that thing really just doesn't feel right. But um, anyway, so most fun I've had with a handheld system is on the Game Boy Advance. But I'm not really an authority on that. And then my opinion on the sixth generation consoles, which is like the PS2, the Xbox, the GameCube. And you forgot the Dreamcast, dude. Why'd you forget the Dreamcast? That thing was awesome. Um, seriously, that thing was insanely innovative for the time. Um, I mean, it, it had a modem in it. And no other console at that point had a modem in it. So it was the first one you could do online play with. So, I mean, it was really ahead of its time. And there weren't that many games that were made for it. And I don't know why. But, and it was kind of expensive, but it was a fun console. I had some fun with that. I never owned one, but a friend of mine had one, and it was a blast to play. Um, 
then Xbox was okay. I didn't really play it all that much, though, so I mean, I can't really say too much about it. I didn't like the controller. Uh, it was really huge and really awkward to get used to. But um, at least it wasn't as bad as the PS2's controller, which hadn't changed since PS1. I didn't like that one either. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I despise the PlayStation controller. That's why I don't like playing PlayStation games. Now, granted, there were a few games on the PlayStation I would have loved it if they'd put them on other systems, like Shadow of the Colossus. I would really love to play that game. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2, all that was actually um, ported to PC as well, so I might get that on PC if I can find it. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3, that was never ported. I, I want to get that. Uh, if it's if they ever decide to put it on a system other than PS2, I'd love it. Um, but um, And then, of course, there's all the Tales games that I would love to play, but they're only on PS2. Uh, well, several of them are only on PS2 anyway. Um... So, PS2 had a few good games on it, but most of it was just JRPGs and multi-platform games that just played better on other systems, so... Um, and uh, then there's the GameCube, which I own one, and I love it. I mean, that thing's freaking indestructible. <laughs> I mean, you, you could probably shoot it and... Well, I mean, fairly low caliber, like maybe a 9mm or something. It probably would still run. I mean, really. <laughs> that thing's just... Oh, man, that's t that thing's tough. But um, it had some great games on it, like uh, Twilight Princess was the be the best version of that was actually on GameCube. It doesn't play that well on Wii compared to the GameCube. Um, let's see. There's also, uh, obviously, Super Smash Bros. Melee, the best in the series, um, unless you count the first one. I mean, that's a pretty tough call. Um, and, of course, there's all the other little uh, fun exclusives that it had. Well, at least they were exclusive at the time. Like, Resident Evil 4 was a great exclusive at the time. Um, and then they ported it, and it, we got pissed at that. But, um, anyway. It had some great games on it. A lot of people hate the controller. I actually find it pretty comfortable. Um, the only thing I don't like is the shape of the C-stick. But it, I can deal with that. I mean, it, it's not that big of a deal. The, the button shapes were fine, actually. They felt kind of nice. Um, at least you know what you're pressing instead of just having these circles around the this uh, axis and you just end up pressing those and you may not actually press the thing that you thought you pressed. But with the GameCube it's a definitive press and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is this. So, anyway. Um, so yeah, out of those I like the GameCube the most. Um, didn't like the PlayStation 2 at all. Uh, didn't really like the Xbox all that much. I mean, I didn't play it that much though, so I can't really say much about it. Dreamcast was really fun though. Anyway, moving on. New question. Uh, Japan Sato Double O asks, uh, what sequels I'd like to see in the upcoming years? Well, obviously Duke Nukem Forever, but that's supposed to be coming out this year, and I'm pumped for that. Um, let's see, Mass Effect 3 is supposed to be coming out this year, I'm pumped for that. Uh, Dragon Age 3, uh, at least a follow-up to Dragon Age 2. I would really love to see how the things you did in Dragon Age 2 affect the, the world in Dragon Age 3. I would love that. Um, that'd be really cool. Um, Neverwinter Nights 3, uh, if they ever make it, uh, th that'd be nice. Um, I doubt they ever will make it, but it'd be nice if they did. Um, same with Night Zero Republic 3. It'd be awesome if they ever made another one of those. Instead of just giving us the old Republic and Neverwinter, um, actually, you know, real role-playing games, not MMOs. Um, anyway. Other than that, let's see... Arx Fatalis, uh, it'd be nice to see some sort of follow-up to that. Maybe a sequel, maybe just a spiritual successor or something like that. It'd be nice to see that. Um, but other than those, um, can't really think of all that many. Uh, there's a few games that would have been nice to have sequels, but the companies are defunct. or um, it, Then you realize that, hey, maybe this wouldn't have such a great sequel after all. And then, of course, there's Half-Life 2 Episode 3, which will probably never come out. And... Um, so, I could really care less about that at this point. Anyway, moving on. Um, AshEd65 asks, Hey man, what animes do you like and what animes can't I stand? Well, the ones I can't stand are all those annoying Japanese, like, romantic comedy crap. Uh, that's, you know, the, like it's set in high school. I mean, it like, seems like every Japanese anime is set in a high school. Uh, and I don't know why. I'm like, the only one that I found truly amusing was Cromartie High School, and it has nothing to do with any of the other um, Japanese high school comedy things, or whatever you call them. Um, I mean, it, it's it's just freaking hilarious. It's like the, you take the internet and smash it into an anime, and it's awesome. So, if you if you look up Cromartie High School, just it, it's an amazing anime. Hilarious. Um, let's see. As for the 
what I actually like the most, though. It's the serious stuff, um, like Roroni Kenshin. Well, well, it can have comic relief in it. I mean, like, uh, Roroni Kenshin had plenty of comic relief in it, but it was a pretty serious anime all the way through, and it was really, really good. Um, I love Ghost in the Shell. Love Ghost in the Shell. Um, big time. Which is why I'm kind of pissed that supposedly they're making a live-action movie of it, and I'm... That, that'd be... That would suck. Period. Um... And that actually inspired The Matrix, if you didn't know that already. Um, so, check out Ghost in the Shell. It's an amazing anime. Um, any of them, really. Like, Solid State Society is not that great. Uh, Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence isn't that great. But the first movie and the anime series was, were just phenomenal. Um, let's see. What else? I like Trinity Blood. Um, it was okay. Um, Helsing was really good. Um, now, the anime series wasn't that great, but the OVAs were just awesome. Um, and then, let's see... For a while, I liked Shakugan no Shana, but nobody seems to know about that. And, um, I, I just didn't uh, watch it all the way through. So, I, I never really got to the end of that. And, uh, I love the, uh, older Gundams. Uh, G Gundam and Gundam Wing specifically. I haven't watched the original Gundam, but I love Gundam Wing especially. And, uh, G Gundam was awesome. I mean, how, how, how who doesn't know the Shining Finger Sword move? I mean, really. That, 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 that was just amazing. But, um, then they got to Gundam Seed, and it started sucking from there on. Um, and then let's see, what else? Um, I don't really watch all that many animes anymore, actually. I, I read a couple of mangas, but n I don't really watch TV or anime or anything all that much anymore. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, McKinnis4545 and Omega Wolf Studios have fairly similar questions, both asking me about my favorite real-time strategy games. Um, if I could mention a few of those. Well, I better mention this, too. Um, if you're wondering why I don't do a lot of uh, strategy game reviews or videos or anything, it's because I don't have that many of them. Um, I, I just pick and choose what I want to play, and it's kind of hard for me to find stuff that I like. Uh, but my the one I've had the most fun with over the years has been Age of Empires 2. Um, which was, will probably sound as a huge surprise, considering I can't stand StarCraft, and it's a fairly similar style of game. But, um, that's just it. It's similar. It's better. Much better. Um, anyway. And, uh, there's also other games that I liked. I liked Rise of Nations. Um, Empire Earth was good in concept, but as a game, it was pretty crappy. Um, maybe the sequel's better. I don't know. I, I'm gonna check out the sequel eventually. Uh... If you count the Total War series as real-time strategy, I like those. And um, Company of Heroes is a great uh, strategy game, too. If you uh, haven't checked out Company of Heroes, you really should. It, it's just a phenomenal strategy game um, all around. I mean, it really just breathed new life into the genre. Uh, when it, it was really just getting really stale. Like, uh, pretty much everything seemed like it copied from StarCraft, and then all of a sudden Company of Heroes comes along, and it just blows everything else out of the water um, for the past couple of years, and it's like, whoa, this is awesome. And then uh, the Warhammer 40k Dawn of War games were good, too. I haven't played uh, the first one uh, all that much. I played the second one a little bit, uh, a little bit more, anyway. And um, they're both great. I need to get the full versions of those. But um, they're, they're great games, too. I'm, I'm not that big of a strategy gamer. I mean, I like them. It's just I suck at them, and then if I suck at them, it's kind of hard to like them, you know? But it, that that probably sounds weird. But what I mean is, I suck at strategy games for some weird reason. I think it's just because I don't like micromanaging things. And um, so then I get into the game, and I get annihilated, and I don't have fun with it. But then there's the games that are, are much more forgiving, I guess, in the micromanagement aspect. You can actually use your brain more and get things done. And those are the kind that I like more. Anyway, last question is from Meta Itachi. And um, it's basically asking me, uh, was there anything specific that made me despise Skyrim, um, the Elder Scrolls V, I mean, or was it just oblivion and my general assumption of the direction of the series and all that kind of stuff? And they specifically mention perks. Uh, and it's like, oh, that only deepens the RPG elements. No, it doesn't! Ha name one other strategy... Well, name one other uh, role-playing game besides Fallout that uses a perk system. And you can't. And that's just it. What the Bethesda has done is take things from Fallout and just smash them into Skyrim, and that's pretty much all you're seeing. And um, that's really not a good thing. Uh, 
Fallout 3 was not that great of an RPG. In fact, it wasn't even an RPG at all. It was a really bad shooter with stats. Um, the stats were horrible, horrible. Um, and then Oblivion was barely even an RPG at all. I mean, it it should have been more an action game with anything than anything else. Um, had they built it as an action game, then it would have been, I guess, okay. But as a real uh, a role playing game, why don't I have real time strategy on brain now? But uh, as a role playing game, it's horrible. Uh, the stats really don't do anything, and that's the vibe I'm getting from Skyrim. They actually lessen the number of skills you can have. They've um, supposedly retooled the combat, so it's even more action oriented. So, where's all the RPG stuff? I'm really not seeing it. I'm not seeing the role playing at all. I mean, it's it's just stuff we've seen before. I mean, in Oblivion, why why are we so excited about Skyrim? Is, uh, why, should, why am I even saying we? Why are you guys so excited about Skyrim? It's not me that's excited about it. I'm not excited about it at all. It's just the, the all the information I've been getting is saying it's not going to be a good game. At least not to me. And so many people are like don't understand why I don't like Oblivion. I'm going to do an addendum to the Oblivion review and tell you why I don't like it. Um, eventually, I mean, I'm going to need footage for it, but and I, that means I need to reinstall it and all that kind of fun stuff. But, um... Seriously, Skyrim is just shaping up to be more and more of a hack-and-slash than a role-playing game. And I don't really like hack-and-slash games all that much. Um, I mean, they're okay in moderation, but if I'm going to play one, I'm probably going to play it on a console, and it's probably going to be Lord of the Rings. So, need I say more? Anyway, um, that was Q&A 5. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep asking questions, doesn't matter what they're about. Um, just pile them on, I'll, I'll answer as many as I feel like answering, I guess. And, um, so yeah, I guess I'll just catch you guys in later videos.